No, the Letitia box right there. Well, I mean, ghost me. I'm Shaywa. Welcome to this channel. So this is a live screen I'm doing because I'm just too lazy to edit and I really wanted to get this video out here. And it was supposed to be in out here. But anyway, I had to re-record it and things like that. But this video is going to be talking about things that you might want to bring with you um, to Merida, to Mexico. Okay, so come on, let's let go. Make sure you like the video and comment down below. I need to get rid of this from my scene. So I'll be right back. It's a box of tissue and stuff that has no business being here in my scene. All right, there we go. So I want to talk about this because uh, I didn't really have or nor did I watch the video of things that I probably should have bought with me. Um, while coming to Merida. So a few things that I would definitely recommend you guys. Okay, so if you are a big cook, all right, I don't want to say that I'm a big cook, but I, I cook pretty much almost every day. Um, and uh, if you're a big cook, you will have trouble or it will, you will find it challenging to find seasonings and, and, and things like that, that you're used to cooking with when you're in the States. And if you do find these certain items they're not going to taste the same how they taste in the states so as a little baby chef I, I call myself a little baby chef but everybody always likes my cooking everybody um wants me to cook for them and stuff like that so i'm being humble right now <laughs> but anyway um sometimes if you do find the seasonings they will taste a little different because one thing about merida if you don't know already it's freaking hot here it's really hot here and um we ain't even, we, we ain't even hit summer yet, y'all. But anyway, and I'm sitting right by this big window. You know I'm you know I'm hot right now. But uh, anyway, the food sometimes is going to taste different, and this is why a lot of times I will personally shop at a um I to get a lot of my produce from a grocery store because it's an AC versus those little corner stores, you know, little mom and pop shops that you see. Most of those shops don't have air conditioning. They don't, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't, there's no way to preserve the life of the, the fruits and vegetables. So they're just sitting there rotting and, you know, but uh, I'd rather go to the store where there's AC. And I noticed that the fruits and vegetables are fresher there. So it's hot here, nonetheless. All right. So <laughs> just know that the food is going to taste different because you know it's a different climate, different environment. Um, um, a lot of times people here may not use certain ingredients that you're used to cooking with back at your house. And so it's like, it may sit on the shelf, the shelf life may be longer and it may not taste as fresh as you're, as you're used to the food tasting, right? So um, I would definitely bring my seasonings, all right? <laughs> bring your, your seasoning, whether that's Tony Satch, uh, Slap Your Mama, uh, you know, you you know, you know, in New Orleans, I'm from New Orleans, in New Orleans, we, we have our crawfish balls and stuff like that. We have the crawfish ball, the liquid kind, and we also have the um the uh, powder kind. Bring your stuff. When I went to New, uh, when I went to Louisiana not too long ago, I came back with some fish fry. That's all I wanted was some fish fry and some red beans. Okay, so bring your stuff back when you're traveling or if you have a family member that will be willing to ship you stuff then get them to ship you a package every month or something like that. You know, you can pay somebody to ship you packages and things like that. That's great. You know what I mean? So um, I definitely want to mention that. So just be prepared regarding that. So the next tip I want to definitely say, um, I have to mention this one because if you are a natural hair girly or, you know, you have natural hair or locks, so whatever it is, most people who come here um, to live here, they have natural hair, most people. Um, if you do not have natural hair and you're used to getting box perms, you're not going to find the box perms for your hair here. Now, I don't know if you are, uh, if you're African American or whatever the term is that they call us. Um, if you're African American and you perm your hair, you might want to bring the perms with you. Or you might want to just go natural or whatever because they don't have those perms here. So this brings us to my next point, right, is hair products. So hair products, they don't have hair products for African Americans here. All right, so it's going to be it's gonna be tailored to Mexicans, right? So you can't get mad about you in Mexico. You know, when enough of us get here, things will change. I, I guarantee you that, right? But um, I've also been thinking about coming out with my own hair products. 
but I have to kind of find, um, if anybody know any resources, I'm definitely open to that. Like you can just let me know any resource that you may have. It's kind of challenging to find different products and things like that to make my own conditioners and shampoos and things that I would need, you know, to, to create products for African-American hair. But, you know, we're working on it. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Okay. But if you help, you can help me. I can get there faster. If you know any information, just let me know. But, um, yeah, if your hair's perm, there's no perm. Sure, so you got to bring your perms or get somebody to ship you some perms every so often. Or um, bring you a flat iron. Or buy a flat iron here or a straighten comb and just go natural, all right? So natural people, there's no hair products for you either here, okay? Um, a lot of the hair conditioners and shampoo um, and things like that, it's not dedicated to our hair. Because once again, we are in Mexico, all right? So don't come down here thinking that you're going to find yourself You're in Mexico, baby. You know, <laughs> now, and that may be different in different areas in Mexico. Like in Cancun, it may be different. In Mexico City, it may be different because there's a lot of American, a lot more Americans living there versus uh, Merida, right? So, you know, just be aware of it if you come in Merida. No. So, no hair products here for us, right? Right. I would definitely bring an umbrella with me. Like I said, it's really hot here. And that's one thing I was like, oh my God, why did I not think to bring my umbrella? I have a, I have a really, really good umbrella. It was one of them, um, what do you call them? I think it's called Ring. It's a brand. I forgot the name of this umbrella, but I actually found this umbrella, and it was a name brand umbrella. It was a really, really good umbrella. But anyway, I digress. But bring an umbrella, like a pocket one or a large one, because it's hot. Like if you have to go walking, or if you're doing like some tour sighting or things like that, if you're going to a restaurant, you don't need it because it's like a, it's 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 mucho calor. I'm high right now. Okay, so I wish I'd have bought that with me the first time though, but I do have it now. Or I would recommend you to definitely bring your hat. It's hot here. You have a little sombrero, a little hat or whatever like that. Bring that because you're going to need it. Okay. A cap, ball cap, one of the uh, sun hats. You're going to need that because it's really hot here. Um, and also skulls. If you don't have any of that, bring your skulls. You can cover yourself up with skulls when you're commuting in and out of the sun. Because um, I don't know see my skin. But um, two weeks ago, <laughs> two weeks ago, <laughs> Me and my BF, we went to the beach, and um, I still, I still got. You know how us black folks, we think we don't supposed to wear sunscreen or sunblock. You're supposed to wear that, so that's another thing you need to be bringing. Okay, I don't care if you're like, oh, I have melanin or whatever. You need your sunblock and sunscreen. I don't care. You need it, all right? So bring it. <laughs> I was in the beach. We was on the beach like for like I don't know, like, like we had to be there. We had to been there for like eight hours i don't know but i got sunburn and i like my face it looks like i have like little little um little splashes little, little splashes like that now i'm from the waters and it's hot there too I'm from the south i'm used to the heat but this heat here is on a whole other, other level i know somebody asked me that in one of my comments i don't think i replied back to you if, if you're listening if somebody asked me was the weather bad out there versus um is it worse or here but it's hurt it's worse here in america it i'm and, you know, in New Orleans, it's hot. It, it's hot. I feel like the weather is similar, but I feel like it's different at the same time. It's, it's, it's mucho calor. It's mucho. Um, so, yeah. Bring your sunblock. Bring your hair products. Bring your seasoning. All right? So, the next one I'm definitely going to say. Um, oh, yeah. Um, let me add on to the hair products, okay? Natural hair people. Hear me out. You need your hair bonnets. Your hair bonnets. You need your silk and polyester or satin skulls. They don't... I don't really, I me. Mean, I'm sure you can find that here, but I don't really see a bun, an abundance of that, all right? So you need to bring that for sure. And uh, you bring your combs, your rat tail combs. They don't have that here. Um, there's these little um, scalp massager things. I had got one when I went back to the States. They were amazing, by the way. I need more of those. So I'm just kind of like fearful of like, what if it breaks? So if you want to buy something, buy multiple of Like I have three and four rat tail combs. That's because I do hair, you know? So I need all my equipment, all my stuff, like, I can't afford to like not have my stuff. So I have like three and four of like everything. So buy in bulk. And then when you come back, you know, to Mexico, I said, if you live in here, I mean, that's a tip of somebody who's living here, but not um, subject to people who are just visiting. You know what I mean? All right. So the next thing, uh, if you have a diet restrictions um, in Merida, I know I said this like a multitude of times already because like they, they don't really eat a lot of 
vegetables here. Even though people do, people do. It's like the culture is totally different here. It's not like people are like, I don't know how to explain it to y'all, but like they don't eat a lot of vegetables here. So there's not a lot of like vegetation, uh, vegetarian restaurants and things like that. And pescatarians, I try to eat mostly, like I uh, follow up mostly a pescatarian diet. And it's a challenge to find restaurants to suit my fancy. And sometimes I, you know, I give into the guilt and eat a little bit of chicken. And I definitely regret it after my, and my stomach lets me know that you shouldn't be eating that because what are you doing? Because we're not used to that. But um, <laughs> if y'all know any like pescatarian type of restaurants, please let me know if y'all in the Merida area. I try to share as many restaurants with y'all as I possibly can because I know what it's like. So, um, and also Rappy, Rappy will have like options for y'all to, but sometimes you just want to go in a restaurant, you know, and just drink and all of that. But anyway, um, diet restrictions. So if you have like, um, any type of diet restriction, it's going to be a challenge for you, but just like, I don't know. I feel like you should have a game plan. I know it's not a, a tangible item or anything that you need to bring or anything like that, but I feel like you should definitely want to have a game plan regarding how am I going to eat? You're, there's vegetables here, but I don't know if there's tofu here. I know a lot of vegans and vegetarians, they eat tofu. I don't know if that's here. I haven't seen that here. Um, there's plenty of beans. They don't have red beans here for all my New Orleanian people. They don't have red beans here. I already look, trust me, there's black beans, there's lentil beans, and um, I think I've seen pinto beans. So they don't have every variation of, of beans. Like, you know, in the waters, we eat our red beans and our butter beans, but they don't really have it here. So, and also, like, I found when I first got here, finding whole grains was a challenge as well because a lot of people here don't really you know, eat whole grains. It's more of a, like Americanized thing. I personally prefer whole grains, not only because it's, it's you know, it has benefits and it's healthier, but it just tastes more richer to me. So it's like white rice. It just, it's nothing in there for me. It just kind of tastes like I'm eating kind of dry. I don't know. I eat it in sushi, but it's weird. Yeah. But anyway, so it'll be a challenge for you to find like whole grain foods. Like, I'll just be mindful of that. So just have a disposition like, okay, I know everything is not going to be here that I want, but we're going to go with the punches. So Walmart does sell like a lot of um, and Soriana and Shirale. Shirale. <laughs> Shirale. Okay. Those stores, they pick pretty much, that's where I shop at, you know, and I find my stuff there. So and I don't have no problems. But um, yeah. Now, um, I've tried, since we're on the subject of diet, right? I tried something like a multivitamin. Buy some multivitamins, and I really, really regret buying them here. I don't know if it was a particular brand. I didn't really like it, but it, it led me to. I got constipated basically um, with the vitamins. Now the vitamins I'm used to taking. I'm not gonna say the name because they're not sponsoring me or whatever. But if y'all want to know, I'll, I'll tell you in the description box. I, I don't like to gatekeep, but I don't. You know, I like to get paid for my work. But anyway, uh, the vitamins that, that I was used to taking in the state I got used to get from Whole Foods, and. Uh, it had like live enzymes in, in the vitamins or whatever. And I'm, that's what I'm used to, right? And it was a women's 40 plus um, vitamin. I'm not 40, but you know, I just was taking it because I'm going out, you know? But anyway, so the, the vitamins that I bought here, I spent like $30 on them and they gave me constipation. I refuse to take them ever again. So if you have like special like vitamins that you, you know, like you are so like you're used to these vitamins and you don't want to like, you know, your body matches well with them because not every multivitamin is going to be for everybody. Um, my sister like literally has been taking, she tried like multiple brands because like every brand will like break her out and stuff like that. Um, it is better to get your, your you know, your nutrition from directly from food. But I also think it's also beneficial to have multivitamins you know, with you, especially like if you're feeling sick or something like that, or, you know, you know, I just, I always would have it basically, but, um, and just take it every now and then or whatever, especially if I was feeling like my head was hurting or if I've been eating bad or something like that, you know, I have my days. So I, you know, but if you are like me and you have a particular brands of like multivitamins or like maybe like skincare products, you might want to bring that stuff with you because they don't have a lot of things that, you know, we're used to in the States and that's okay, you know, because we're in a different country now. We just have to adjust to it. Right. So if you can get, like I said, you can get people, your friends, your family to ship you products, you know, that'd be great. You know? <clears throat> okay. So let's talk about 
Oh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. This is not nothing that um, you have to bring with you or nothing that you need, but it's like, um, definitely want to mention that the food is different here. We already talked about the temperature, different, um, different temperatures and things like that. The food is going to be different. Not saying it's better or worse, but it's going to be different. Like you may be used to Oreos in, 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 in one country and Oreos in another country taste different. You know what I mean? Like the chips taste I like the chips here. They taste good, you know, but just know that some of the food will taste different. Like I stated earlier, this is in my nose. I don't know why I didn't put that first, but yeah. Um, now, for if you are a cat or a dog person, you know, um, I don't know why I put that there. <laughs> if, okay. If you're a dog, I know why I did this. I know why I wrote that there. Um, if you're a dog or you're a cat person, that's great, right? But if you're not, you know, you don't like to hear dogs, you don't like to see them, especially you don't like to see them or hear them. This is this is your message right here. You might want to bring some AirPods with you or um, those little head plug-ins or whatever. Um, I love cats. I love cats. Um, dogs, they okay. But um, as a content creator and as a creator, Sometimes I don't want to hear no noise. Like, you know, I'm very sensitive to noise. So uh, if you're a person who is sensitive to noise, you have to definitely be mindful of uh, what neighborhood you're moving in. Most of the inner city, sorry, <laughs> most of the inner city um, homes and apartments or whatever will be a little bit noisy. There'll be people selling things on bikes and things like that and making noises, honking and things like that. But it's so quiet doing the main um I call them the main hours between like 12 to like three. That's when it's really, really hot in Merida. So it gets really quiet during those times. <laughs> but you would be like, you see people out in the street blowing their horns, trying to stop bread. I'm like, I don't, I don't know how they do that stuff, but I'm like, okay, more power to them. It, it's too hot for me to be out there, but they, they do it. So you might want to get you some headphones and some um, ear earplugs. That's what they call it, earplugs. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. But yeah, you might want to do that because, like I said, uh, it's, it's pretty noisy in the inner city. But if you're out in the outskirts of Merida, you should be fine. All right. And, you know, yeah, you should be fine. Now, you might want to also bring you some sunglasses too because people will definitely stare at you. I know I talk about that a lot. But yeah, having some sunglasses. Though, and I noticed that a lot of the, no the locals here, they don't really wear sunglasses. Like, I don't know. Maybe their eyes are just like immune to like the sun. I don't know, the sun rays or whatever. But a lot of them don't wear glasses. So yeah, bring your sunglasses. You definitely will need it in your hats, in your hair products, in your seasoning and everything else, like your earplugs. Um, because like I said, it gets noisy here and it's very hot here. It's very sunny here. So bring your sunglasses with you um wigs okay so i'm a big wig girl i love weave and wigs and things like that so it's, a, it's like almost like a no-no here because it's so hot here so if you need your hair braided just let me know check the description box schedule your appointment because it really gotta let this go breathe it's hot here all right so Lace wigs and the glue and all that stuff and the and the um, and the heavy foundation on the skin. Like I said to y'all earlier, it's hot here. You might want to. I mean, I can't tell you what to do regarding that, but I feel like it would be pretty much pointless to be wearing, unless you're like going. I mean, unless you're like in a, unless you're not going hiking or you're not going to spend too much time in the sun or whatever like that. You know, I mean. You could do whatever you want to do, but I'm just telling you that lace glue, that lace glue, front glue, that glue coming up, it is coming up. That foundation you putting on, it's coming up. Like especially like in the daytime. Like I would definitely recommend you if you do if you aren't do all that stuff, do it at night. Sun's gone, you know, it's cool down, you know, everybody's out having a good time, and you know, it's all good. You know, <laughs> we're trying to do it in the daytime. It will be so aggravating because you you're gonna be like this all day. Like trying to suck the baby edges and all of that, the baby hairs and all that. Like by the time, say for instance, you're going to the mall or something like that, right? Maybe by the time you come back from the mall, the edges gonna be like, where, where, what, what, huh? What, who, where, and everything else. 
because they're not going to be no more. You're going to sweat so much, especially if you're a very sweaty person. I, 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 I sweat a lot. I sweat. So I'm sweating right now. And it's the day season, you know, <laughs> and I'm in front of this window. That's why it's like that. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. All right. So I just say makeup is a no go. But I, I, I don't do foundation. I just do the minimum because it's like I'll be wasting my money. All right. So, yeah. All right, so I'm probably I wanted to talk about this in another video. This is supposed to be things that you might want to bring with you. I don't know why I got this mixed up with another video, but anyway, y'all, that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Like, bring y'all seasonings. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm lying. Oh, I did want to talk about this. Like, the clothes will be different. I just know that things will be different here. Like, I will have a particular style, all right? And so, like, most of my clothes when I was in New Orleans, even though it was hot there, consist, consisted of long sleeves, you know? I love my long sleeves and stuff like that. It protects your, you know, your skin against the sun and things like that. And plus, I'm top heavy, so I like to wear, like, like the long sleeves to hide all of that stuff. So, uh, yeah. It got to the point in my life, I'm like, you know, I don't care no more. Like, it's, it's too hot to me. Like, I don't care. Like, it, it's, 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 it's just ridiculously hot. It's ridiculously hot here. And we're not even in the summertime yet. So, um, if you're like me, like I said earlier, you're a cook or whatever. You know, a lot of the seasonings and stuff I've, I've found in Walmart. And um, there's just like... A lot of stores downtown that would like sell like spices. I can't think of the name of the stores. Sorry about that. I should have had the name for y'all. But um, they would have like a bulk, like like the bulk, you know, the bulk aisles look on certain in certain health food stores and stuff like that, Whole Foods and all that, Walmart and all that. It's like this bulk, like a bulk place, like a it's a place where you can buy your season in bulk. So if you're there are a lot of stores downtown that do that. Like, if you're going to, like, anticipate doing, uh, buying your seasonings that way, um, I suggest that you bring, like, glass um, contain like, little mini glass containers or, like, bags where you can store your um, your seasoning in, right? So you're going to need that, right? Now, for like, the hair products, I'm going back to the hair stuff again, but I, had, I forgot to show you all this. This is, like, a little bottle of glycerin. This is so good to use on your natural hair because... It's a humantic. And humantics, they basically take moisture from, they draw moisture from the atmosphere and put it in your hair versus other products where it like literally dries it out. So glycerin, um, in Spanish, is glycerina, glycerina. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I found this at one of the naturistas. The naturistas is definitely something that you want to type in. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, Rista, natural Rista. Look up natural hair stores in your area. That's where you're going to find your natural soaps and glycerin, and natural hair products and things like that, natural toothpaste and natural deodorant. This is where you're going to find all of those products like that. Running. I think I made a, um, I think I made a short on that. I'm not sure if I posted here or not. But yeah, I'm going to reiterate everything to make sure I didn't forget anything. And um, if you are on prescription medication, you definitely want to bring your prescription medication. And what I do advise for anybody who is on prescription medication, if you're planning on um, living in Mexico or if you're just visiting, this could be very valuable information. You need to bring the bottles with you. All right. Um, the medicate, the medicine here is different. I uh, don't really know all the, all like, the information by it, but it just seems like it, the, the medicine is just easy to be at. It's like it's easy to be accessed. Okay, so bring your your um if you could get your doctor to write your prescription before you come here, just in case you run out, or have that bottle with you. All right, make sure you have the bottle with you and things like that because your medicine will be different too. I mean, if the food is different and everything else, of course the medicine. And, and, and you know, for injection or whatever that you know you need is going to be different. So you make sure you bring um, or have a prescription from your doctor and let your doctor know that you're coming out here. And um, I don't think it should be any different. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I just know that's something that you definitely want to be prepared for. Um, if you have, I guess this video is going to be just like things you need to know. And I'm just title it things you need to know it you know i'm gonna just title it yeah because now we're gonna talk a, a little bit more a little bit more more time 
So yeah, um, your phones. Yeah, if I have, I'm with AT and T. AT and T have several towers here, right? So I'm fine. Now I'm not sure about other companies, but I've heard that people have to like get new SIM cards and uh, pay for extra usage, and I don't have that issue. So I would definitely make sure that you're with a company that is going to allow you to travel outside of the country and not charge you. You know, I have the un unlimited plan with AT and T, so. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference or not. So I don't have any woman charges or um, I don't get charged. If I, if I ever pick up the phone and they, and they say something about charging me, I'll hang up and, and, done, and redial again because I'm not supposed to be charged. I don't have unlimited plan. Right. So, yeah, I would definitely let my bank know, you know, the situation because, you know, there's a lot of it. It's, I, I don't know why, y'all, like, it'd be hard for me, like, it'd be hard for me to, like, find stuff. I like to shop online. And um, because, I mean, I find everything I need right there, right? And trying to go out with Meredith, finding everything would be just a treasure hunt, right? Treasure hunt. Good evening. So I was trying to buy something from, I ain't going to name the store, but I was trying to buy something from the store. And they denied me, denied me and I thought my bank had put a restriction on my account because I was using it in Mexico. And I'm like, they should be used to me being here in Mexico all this time, you know, but uh, that wasn't the case. Um, I called my bank trying to see what was up and they was like, no, nah, we don't have a restriction on your account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I called, um, went back to the account. They were telling me that I needed to verify. I get that a lot. So if you have an American bank card, this is why it's good to have a uh, Mexican bank account because you don't have to worry about this. All right. So uh, I could not get my shoes. I, I, I was just, I'm still astounded right now. It's just, Perfect. But uh <laughs> I wanted my shoes, man. They didn't get them because um they very high security this particular company and they would just like flag me my account and my card, everything as fraudulent. Like I was the fraud or something. And I'm like I was trying to verify it. Now this other company that I work with, um that I buy stuff from, they um are going to ask you Oh, verify. Just, just know that this is not weird. This is why I'm sharing this with you. It's not going to be weird if you're trying to buy something online. If it's a Mexican-based store or, you know, another country-based store and they ship to other countries. But it's not going to be an uncommon thing for them to ask you, oh, can you verify? And what they're going to, and how you verify usually is by sending them a picture of your card and sending them a picture of your ID. And, um, or some type of passport or any type of, you know, form of identification. So they know it's you and I'm not a fraud. So that happens quite often here. So just know that, all right? <laughs> just know that. Um, I guess I could just turn this into a whole other video. I, I don't know. But um, let me see. Let me see. I just want to love, love. He just wants to go, go. Mm hmm. So let me Okay. So if you wanted your hair braided, I definitely want to mention this part for y'all because I'm a hair braid. Like I said repeatedly in this video, you definitely want to come with hair if you're like, oh, I want to get some braids and stuff, yada, yada, yada. And it's like almost, I'll get, I'll get the question all the time, do you sell hair? Like, no, I don't sell hair at this time. But there is a girl who is based in Merida who sells hair. Her information will be in the description box. You can order from her or you can order from AliExpress. You can order from Amazon and um, or you need some hair to get your braids and stuff done or get you some crochets done or whatever. But um, there's also a store called La Bella, oh my God, La Bella, La Bella Panta. Oh my God, I'm butchering it. I think it's called La Bella Panta or something like that. But I'll leave that information in the description box. Or you can probably pick up a, a few packs of like cankalon hair if you need some braids or whatever like that. Okay, just letting y'all know because they don't have like you know beauty supply stores and all that stuff. So make sure you come down with all your hair products, hair included. All right, so got that out the way. But yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Things that you will need to that you will need in Mexico. It was supposed to be tell to African. I guess it's already tell to African American women. And things like that but um yeah yeah 
And um, I want to give y'all this tip because if you are um, looking for specific things, when I first got here, I was like, it was like a scavenger hunt. Like, I needed certain things. I needed my beauty products. I needed, um, I just needed certain stuff. The stuff that I wasn't able to like get in the states. So I found that if you just go to El Centro, you walk around El Centro, you will literally find like a lot of different things that you're looking for. Literally. It's just like right there. So yeah, check El Centro. Go walk around El Centro and see if you can find, you know, like I, I needed like, you know, nails and things like that. And um go to El Centro, eyelashes, El Centro, you know, all that stuff is in El Centro. So yeah. Things that you need to know. I think I pretty much covered everything that I really wanted to cover in this video. Make sure y'all like this video and comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to do more live videos like this. It's, it's got to be patient with me when I do these live videos because they're live. And I'm, I'm not going to edit stuff out. And then I talk a little, you know, I might exaggerate my words and take a little time to think about stuff. Because the sun is like literally flying at me right now. But I do it all for you people. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thanks so much for watching. And is there any, anything I forgot? Anything I left out? I don't know. But anyway, comment down below and let me know how um, you enjoyed the video or what are some things that you definitely want to bring with you when you're coming to Mexico. Bye.